Hi everyone, my name is Albert, one of the co-founders at VectorShift. Today we're going to talk about an important concept within the VectorShift platform called list mode. List mode is a procedure that you use at VectorShift, a feature when you want to run the same process a lot of times. Think about automating back office automations or running lead research or scraping a lot of different sites. It's a lot of repetitive work and you can use list mode to build an automation that can abstract away how to actually do that automation and run that across the data set. Let's head over to VectorShift to talk about how to, how to do this. Now, we're going to set up a quick example really fast. Imagine we want to do a lot of lead research, right? Many people do this today by using Google search, right? You might want to do a Google search and then click through the links and then extract maybe emails or contact information from each of the websites. So one example is maybe I'm trying to sell into law firms, right? And I want to find the top law firms in New York, San Francisco, and Boston. And let's just say I want to find their email and phone number or some sort of contact information from each of the sites, right? Imagine I want to do this across hundreds of different cities or states, and that could be you know hours upon hours and hours of work, right? We could build an automation vector shift, and we'll do this in the next five to 10 minutes that you can automate this and you have a lead list built really quickly. Say my lead list uh, wants to be like this, you know, one column for law firm, one column for the search that we did, you know, to signify what state it's in, and then the phone number of the law firm. But again, you could get whatever information you want from the website, email, phone number, whatever. How can we do this? So let's over to VectorShift and let's create a new pipeline. And first thing we have to do is we have to integrate with Google Sheets, which is where I'm storing the data here. Click on the integrations tab, drag out the Google Sheets node, and we're gonna do the read from sheet action within the Google Sheets. Make sure that you connect your account. I already have, click next, and let's go pick the file. We can go ahead and search for the file name. It's gonna be called Google Searches. And the tab we're using is called Searches. Click searches and confirm selection. As you can see here, we have populated the searches output field. What this is, it's the title of the column within the Google Sheet. You know, on this tab, there's only one column called searches. And the type of the data is called list of text, which is a list of all the items in this column. Just for demonstration purposes, we can drag an output node out and see you know, the output format. Um, of this list of text. As you see here, right, this is the same data from the Google Sheet, patent law firms in New York, comma, patent law firms in San Francisco, comma, patent law firms in Boston. Matches the data right here. And what this mode is, we're going to run the same process on each item in the list. And as I described, the process is we're going to do a Google search. We're going to type this into Google. Then we're going to go into the top 5, 10, 15, 20 URLs one at a time. We're going to scrape the site and then we're going to extract information from the site. And then we want to populate that into the second tab of this Google Sheet so that we have this data set that's compiled. So let's go ahead and actually build uh, what we call in VectorShift sub pipelines, where every time we have to do an operation in, um, in a loop that's abstracted away in a sub pipeline. And we're going to roll that up into this master pipeline over here. So if we break down um, the process that we're going to try to do, the most minuscule action is scraping a URL and you know, uh, grabbing the, the, the law firm name and grabbing uh, you know, the, the phone number from the site. So let's go ahead and build that pipeline. Let's create a new pipeline in VectorShift. Click New create a new pipeline. And let's just imagine this pipeline takes in a URL, right? A URL that's uh, going to be received from Google search. It's going to take in, you know, the Google search itself, right? So that we could just populate it on this tab. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to scrape this URL. And let's do recursive scraping so that we can scrape the sub pages as well. So it's basically mimicking if you went to a lot of the sub pages and you know to find the contact information. Then we're going to pass the data from the scraper into two LMs. 
let's say we're going to use GPT-40 mini and then we're going to extract the phone number. And let's duplicate this. And let's say we want to extract the firm name. And then re and return nothing else. And then we're going to put these pieces of information in to the Google Sheet. So we're going to drag out the Google Sheet node again, add new row, pick a file, and we're going to put it on the data tab. So the law firm is the firm name. So that's LM0. The phone number is openai underscore zero. And the Google search that we did is Google search. There we go. Let's hook up um, the content to the LLMs. And there we go. We have now automated the smallest part of the process, which is going to each site, scraping the URL, um, two URLs deep, right? And extracting the name of the firm and extracting the phone number and putting it into Google Sheets. Let's just say scrape law firm website pipeline. Make sure to deploy changes. Now, we need to build the layer above this, which is to do a Google search and then call this pipeline for every item that gets returned from the Google search. Let's click new, create pipeline, and we're gonna call this Google search for patent lawyers. And what this is gonna receive, it's gonna receive a Google search from the, from the Google sheet pipeline that we saw at the beginning of this, um, this video. And what this is going to do is it's going to perform the Google search. So we're going to use the web search node, Google search. And let's just say we want to find the top five searches from each of the searches that it receives, you know, patent law firms in New York, for example. And then we're going to call the pipeline that we just created using the pipeline node. Now, as you can see here, the Google search node outputs a list of text, right? It has one field called list of URLs. This is the top five URLs, right? Because we set the results, count to five, that is returned from the Google search that we put in. So if we call the pipeline that we just created, scrape law firm website, it takes in text. But we need to turn on this mode, which is this button right here. And what that does is now it takes in list of the item that it receives, right? And in this case, a list of text, right? What this means, it's going to perform this pipeline's action that we just defined, which is taking one website for every item in the list. So taking this Google web search pipeline and connecting it to this, uh, the URL uh, is going to be connected to this input node. The other thing we need to do is we need to pass in the Google search that was used to generate each of these links as well so that we can populate it in the Google Sheet, right? One problem that we run into is that this is a single Google search uh, of type text, but this takes in list of text because the list mode is turned on. So here we use the duplicate uh, list node to duplicate this item the same amount of times that um, the searches are performed. So let's just say item for duplication is Google underscore search. And then we're going to match the size of this Google web search. And now this outputs list of text, and then we could connect it um, to this pipeline node now, and it connects. So to go over what this pipeline is doing, right? It takes in a Google search from the Google Sheet. All right, we're gonna search the top five links that are coming from that Google search. 
then for each item in the list, for each URL, we're going to perform the action that we created in the other pipeline, right? And just to recall, for that pipeline, we're going to scrape that website, and then we're going to extract the name and the phone number. Let's go ahead and deploy this. The final thing we're going to do is we're going to return to the first step that we did called master pipeline. And we're going to call the second pipeline for each Google search. So that's, let's do that. Let's turn on this mode. And Google search for patent lawyers. And there we go. So now we have the whole pipeline built. This Google Sheet has three searches. We're going to call a Google search node on each of the items in this list. Then we're going to fetch the top five URLs. Then for each URL, we're going to scrape it, extract the name and the phone number, and return it to the sheet in the list. Let's go ahead and run it. We can see the data gets populated as it comes in. There we go. We have it populated. So for some of the you know sites, we didn't find the phone number, right? So that's maybe something that we have to do to increase the depth of the search, right? We had a recursion level of two, um, just so that we could speed things up on this video. Uh, but for many of them, you know, we have you know now a phone number list that's already created. Hope this video was informative. This is a concept that is an advanced one in vector shift. Hope to make more videos about this. Really the summary of what this mode is, is whenever you have a repetitive process, you can abstract that out in a pipeline, and then you can call that in this mode to apply that pipeline for each item in the list. Feel free to reach out with any questions. Thank you very much.